Welcome to All-in-One SEO. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video sitemap for your WordPress website. Before you can use the video sitemap feature, you need to enable it. So from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on Feature Manager. Once the Feature Manager page pops up, you're going to look for the video sitemap square. And here we can see the switch is in the deactivated position. So just flip that toggle switch until it says activated. Video sitemap is a pro feature, so you're gonna need a pro plan or above with all-in-one SEO. If you are not on a pro plan or above, when you attempt to flip that switch from deactivated to activated, you will be prompted to upgrade at that time, and you can do so if you'd like to. So now that you have the video sitemap feature enabled, head on over to the all-in-one SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says sitemaps. So now we're on the page where we can adjust the settings for all of our sitemaps. So on the tabs up top, let's click on the tab that says video sitemap. And then it really could not be simpler to enable video sitemap. You just make sure that this toggle switch is in the enabled position. So if it's disabled, enable it. Below that is a button where you can preview your video sitemap. So I'm going to click that big blue button that says open video sitemap. And then I'm going to click on this main video sitemap link here to get into it. And we can see that my site only has five pages with videos on them, but they're all included here on the video sitemap. I'm going to close out of that window. And then I'm going to scroll down below that preview button to the video sitemap setting. The first setting is about enabling sitemap indexes. This is for large sites that have a lot of videos. So if you have over a thousand URLs, it's a good idea to enable this option. For my site with only five pages with videos, it really doesn't matter if it's disabled or enabled, but I'm gonna leave it on enabled. Below that, there is a section where you can specify the amount of links per sitemap. So if you have this enabled, you have a huge site with say 10,000 different pages with video embedded on them, you would have this switch on enabled. And let's say you wanna break this down to every 500 pages. You'll have 20 pages of 500 links per sitemap to get your 10,000 pages. Below that is post type, so you can decide which kinds of post you want to include in your video sitemap. The default is all post types, but if you deselect that, you can pick and choose. You can do only pages. You could do only post and not pages. It's also worth noting that if you had any custom post types, they would appear here. So for example, if you had installed WooCommerce, you would see products here and you could deselect or select that. I'm just going to leave it on all post types. And then below that, it's the same kind of options with taxonomies. So for my site, it's telling me that no taxonomies are available. That's because the only taxonomies on my site are categories and tags. And as you can see below there, it tells you that those are excluded by default because they do not support video embedding. Doesn't make sense to have those show up here. So for my site, it doesn't matter if I have this selected or not. I'll leave it selected in case something changes in the future. And then underneath that, we have advanced settings. You can leave that off if you don't want to mess around with advanced settings. If you do, toggle that switch to the on position. As you can see, I have this set up to exclude the poster page about men's basketball shoes. For some reason, I don't want to include any video on that page in my video sitemap. And anything about good debt, I don't want to have included in my video sitemap. Below that, you have the option to include custom fields, yes or no. I'm going to leave that on no. If you have that on yes, the video sitemap will look for any videos that you have included in custom fields on your WordPress website. This is a pretty advanced feature. Most users probably do not use custom fields. So if you don't know what this is, you can probably just leave it on no. When you're all done getting this section set up the way you like it, go ahead and click the big blue button that says Save Changes. And that's it. Now you have video sitemap enabled for your WordPress website. If you have any other questions, go ahead and check out our documentation at aioseo.com slash docs. If you don't find the answer to your question there, feel free to open a support ticket and we'll be happy to help you out.